Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Math 31 Calculus, Chapter 4. <clears throat> Excuse me. Extreme Values, Lesson 3, the First Derivative Test, Part 2. Now, last lesson we just did finding the critical values and finding the local maximums and minimums. So, let's put that together and do the hardest question I think I can throw at you. Oh, basically, everything I expect you to be able to do. Find the local maximum minimum values of g of x equals x to the fourth minus 4x cubed and use this information to sketch the graph of g. Now, as I said before, the calculus predates graphing calculators. So we do a lot of this so we can graph. Now we have graphing calculators is just dumb. Well, I shouldn't say dumb. Perhaps not the best use of your time. But I will give you questions on the test where you have no graphing calculator and you have to be able to solve this. So, right off the bat, Let's find uh, local maximum minimums. That is g prime of x, which is 4x cubed minus 12x squared, either equals 0 or does not exist. And I will point out there's no denominator here, so there's no points where it doesn't exist. It's just where x equals 0 or where the function equals 0. Now, I'm going to say here, oh, 4x squared, x minus 3. So, if I factor it, then it's either 4x squared, either x equals 0 or x equals 3. So I have two points I have to check, 0 and 3. Now, as you, if you've cheated already and done this on the graphing calculator later like I asked, then when I go minus 1, 1, and say 4, some nice numbers to check. So when I go g prime of minus 1, the derivative, is it positive or negative here? Actually, I'm going to move this over, a little more space. So, going back here, minus 1, let me see, Four, minus 1 squared is positive, so that's going to be a positive number, minus 1 minus 3 is going to be negative, so it's, neg so it's going to be negative here. In the middle, between 0 and 3, g prime of, say, 1, well, that's going to be positive number. 1 minus 3 is going to be negative. So, so that continues to be negative. Okay. All right, so I'm just double checking, and g prime of 4 equals, well, that's going to be positive times a positive. It's going to be positive. Sorry, I was just double checking that both of these are negative. x is minus 1 and plus 1, the derivative is negative, which means we have don't have an inflection point there. We have, what the hell do you call it? Uh, oh, I'll draw the graph and I'll show you. Anyway. So, here it goes from negative, it's going down, up to positive. So we have our ma minimum at x equals 3. Now, when x equals 3, we go back to the original function to find g of 3. So I have a value. Uh, x to the fourth minus 4x cubed. Okay, so that's... Minus 27. I know that because that's 81 minus 4 times 27. 3 times 27 is 81, so it's minus 21. Anyway, now, so my min is at 3 comma minus 27, so that's going to be my lowest point. All right, what else do I know? Not a lot. So here I go to plan B, and I make a table of values. Now, I've noticed also cheating on the graph here that my graph goes from minus 2 to 6. So, what? A, oh, easy point. What's my y-intercept? So what's my constant value? It's 0. And I know it's 3 and 20, minus 27. 3, 24, 
I think it's a 27, something like that. So that's my minimum. Actually, I should make that green because, you know, color coding and all that crap. Something like that. Now, so I'm going up from here. So, minus one, one, two, four, five. Because I already have three and zero. Um... I'm just going to cheat. Minus 4, minus 16. I went to the calculator and did these because life is too short. Minus 2 is 16, minus 3 is 27, 4 is 0. All right. And I didn't do 5. Anyway, so 5. Oh, crap. Anyway. Oh, that is too big a number to show up on our graph here. And for minus 1, it is, let me see, minus 1 to the 4th is plus one, minus four should be minus three. No, it'll be minus minus plus three. So I'm doing that math in my head. So minus one and three, one and minus four, two and minus 16, four and zero, and then it just shoots up. So. There we go. So that is my function. And I'll point out here that this 3 and minus 27 is an absolute. Now, relative means in that area, it's the smallest or the biggest. But absolute means it's the biggest or the smallest. So this is an x to the fourth. They will have an absolute minimum. And there it is at 3 and minus 27. All right, now that's what I need you to be able to do. Now that took a little bit of work, and I'm going a brain fart here. X is zero. It's not a point of inflection. It is, oh, God. And, of course, as soon as I stop recording and go back to check the notes in section one, I'll remember the name of that. Brain fart, I hate this getting old. And none of you are de decreasing with me. All right, none of you are arguing with me. Okay. Maximum minimum value. Yes, it is a point of inflection. That's it. Yes, so just for a moment there, the derivative went to zero. Now the slope went to zero. But then it turned negative again. All right. So that's why you check every point. You check a point in every section. All right. Uh, the next video, the next couple of examples are long, so I'm just going to pause it here, and um, yeah, we'll um, keep on going in the next video. Any questions? Shoot me an email. Otherwise, good luck. Good luck.